So with our circle quiz on Monday, today is going to be a practice day. Um, we're going to pause the video here for you to try these four problems. And here are all the answers. So how do we get those answers? So let's start with number one. Um, so our equation of the circle was this. We're going to actually use this for all these problems. So let's see uh, what we have for number one. We're going to plug in the center. And then we get a point x, y. So we're going to plug those values in. So this is 6, and this one's negative 7, so we get 3 squared plus negative 8 squared is r squared, and that is how we get 73 is r squared. For number 2, Get all the answers here. So for number two, we have a diameter of one one. So if the diameter goes through the entire circle and we have this point, we can find the center by finding the midpoint. So if I add up the x values divided by 2, add up the y values divided by 2, our center is at negative 1, negative 2. So now we're going to have a problem just like number 1. We have x minus negative 1 squared plus y minus negative 2 squared equals r squared. And then you can pick either 1, 1 or negative 3, negative 5 to find the radius squared. Um, let's do 1, 1. Why not? That's x and y. So we get 1 plus 1 squared plus 1 plus 2 squared. So that's 2 squared plus 3 squared. And we get 13 is our radius squared. So we fill that in here. Okay, for number 3, the diameter goes through these two. Has If the diameter has the endpoints of these two coordinates, then the center is in the middle again. We're going to add the x values and divide by 2, add the y values and divide by 2. And our center is at 1, negative 1. So we get x minus 1 squared plus y minus negative 1 squared equals r squared. And then let's pick a point to plug in. So choosing a point, uh, I think I'm going to choose negative 2, 4. It doesn't matter which one you pick. We're going to solve for r squared. So we get 9 plus 25, so 34 is r squared. Okay, and last but not least on this page, number 4. Um, we get the center. Now, tangent to the y-axis, if I make a sketch, when you have a radius and your tangent, it means you just touch at that point. And there's a theorem from geometry that said a radius and a tangent intersect at 90 degrees. So I know for a fact then that the y-axis and the circle 
we'll have a right angle there. Um, so if we're tangent to the y-axis, that means this point is 0, 5. And this point's my negative 7, 5. Um, so setting up my equation. And then we can plug in 0. Oh, no. Now I can count my radius. I don't even have to solve for it. If we go from negative 7 to 0, the radius is 7. So r squared is 49. Okay, so here are eight problems to practice. Can you complete the square um, to write the equation in completed square form to know what the center and the radius is? So we'll pause the video for you to try these, and then I'll reveal all eight answers. Okay, so here's all the answers. And I'll do number one just as a review so that you have the process down. We're going to reorganize the problem so that the x's are together, the y's are together, and we're going to move the constant to the right-hand side. So now completing the square, we're going to take half of 10 and square it. You have to remember to add it to the right. Half of 8 and square it. So now we can factor each piece here. Half of negative 10 is negative 5. Half of positive 8 is positive 4. Combining these like terms, we get 36. Okay, so now here's the answers to your homework. It is the circle review worksheet 1 through 9. You should get started on that now. Make sure you have all your answers right so you're prepared for the quiz on Monday.